what is left of the Israeli left wing. Let's take a closer look and pick up the debate right after. Once dominant in politics, the fall of the Israeli left in the 21st century has been slow and drawn out. Ever since Ehud Barak lost the prime ministerial elections in 2001, there has been no left-wing Israeli leader, with leftist parties being forced to be bit-part players in coalitions. The Labour Party, the largest Israeli party at the point in which it was formed, hasn't had more than 10 seats in the Knesset since the first election in 2019, where Avi Gabay led them to a historic 13-seat loss. Both Labour and left-wing Meretz joined the anti-Netanyahu coalition in 2021, but some of their voting decisions since then have caused uproar among supporters, most notably voting in favour of the controversial West Bank Settlements Law. But with the coalition crumbling and elections looming, do left-wing parties still have the trust of their increasingly isolated supporters? Would they sacrifice their morals once again for the taste of power in a right-wing coalition? What is the future of the Israeli left-wing? So let's get to it. What is the future for Israel's left wing? Uh, dear gentlemen, you know the rules. You each get uh, 30 seconds to lay out your initial stance and we pick up the debate uh, right after. So, uh, Boaz, please take the lead. Thank you. What has become what has where what has become with the Israeli left? First of all, I'm very sad to see what's happening really? to the left because the left is important. I mean, in a democracy, you need left, you need center, you need right wing, we need everybody. But I think that the left maybe has lost itself. I think that when you look at the history of Israel, of the creation of Israel, I mean, I would say that if today you would wake up from the graves, the fathers, the founders of our state, from the left, by the way, they might have voted to the conservative parties or to the right. Because I would say I would think that the big mistake that the left has made today is maybe to go very, very far from the belief or from what is, I mean, the consensus yeah. of, of the Jewish state. Well, I would we'll, say that was a very yes. big mistake. Uh, we'll, we'll get to all the mistakes and perhaps uh, the successes of uh, the left in a okay. second. Uh, Dr. Goldberg, your take? Thank you. Uh, I think the future of the left is dependent on the left being left. Hmm. Since I agree with Mr. Bismuth, I don't think the left is far from the consensus of the Jewish state. I think the left has stopped being left. I think the left needs to stand for something, not just for denying the right or rejecting the possibility of an extremist takeover. The left has to do leftist things. If it doesn't do that, it will not have a future. The most leftist thing is cooperation with Israel's Palestinian citizens. And uh, last but uh, definitely not uh, least, uh, Mr. Oda uh, your take? your take? I think the situation of the left now is uh, also tell us, tell us about his future. I think as long as uh, there is occupation and as long as uh, people, uh, the labor people is under uh, uh, this uh, occupation uh, and the uh, left want to be more uh, nationalist than the right here, mm. and you mentioned uh, Barack, I think that his situation will be uh, awful. And I think uh, just now we see in the government that the pressure against uh, Arab members, right. member, uh, Arab member, mm -hmm. Knesset members, is uh, uh, yeah. comes from the left or right. so-called left. Right, and so we'll, I, I think mm -hmm. it's called so-called. It's very important. Absolutely, and we will uh, also dive into uh, uh, more specifically the uh, situation of the uh, Arab parties later on. Uh, for the time being, uh, gentlemen, uh, from this point onwards, please feel free to interact with one another. So uh, echoing what uh, Dr. Goldberg uh, said, the ideological justification of both the Labour and Merit's parties for uh, being part of this uh, coalition is that the alternative is worse. A right-wing rule is worse. But my question to you, is it enough just not to be the right? What kind of a leftist agenda have we seen being promoted? If at all, if uh, you, if I can just mention uh, their vote in favor of the so-called uh, West Bank uh, regulation law, in stark contrast to any possible left-wing agenda, Dr. Goldberg. Uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, the Israeli left, the Jewish left, the Zionist left, call it what you will, is not very much of a left anymore. It isn't promoting a left-wing agenda. It's supporting policies that are driven by the more right-wing elements of this government, not just with regard to the territory, but with regard to social and economic policy as well. Prices skyrocketing uh, has nothing to do with security or with uh, a Palestinian state, and the leftist parties are signing on to just about every reprehensible aspect of this very right-wing government's policies. Uh, the left has to present some sort of clear cogent alternative. It has to stand for something. 
There's no reason for people to vote for leftist parties if they can get what the left is offering from the right and get it much more effectively. And uh, perhaps in this respect, uh, Mr. Bismuth, we need to ask a much more basic fundamental question. What does it mean to be right or left in Israel nowadays? Excellent question, because when you speak, when you see our government right now, you see that it's not a question of being right or left. You see it's a question of being for the ex-Prime Minister Netanyahu or against. The same, I mean, that is the reason why you would see left-wing parties, including a radical left for me, uh, going or voting for a Prime Minister that comes from a right-wing party, or last week, voting for a bill that is for Judean Samaria. So this is totally awkward. This is totally bizarre. This is totally ridiculous. But this is what's left of the left. I mean, the left is not coherent anymore, and they have nothing to propose. By the way, there's another thing. We watch the panels, of course, and we'll go to universities and we'll listen to all those intellectuals. Yet Israel, in a democracy, you're also going to see the voters, you're going to see the street. And if you see the, the Israeli Knesset right now, 72 or 74 seats are for conservative right wing. From the left, nothing is, I mean, nothing has, le is, has, has left, left right. a lot. And, and just one last thing. When I said before, a certain consensus, let's not forget, this is the Jewish state. If the left forgot, forgot it, then also voters will forget the left. Mr. Bisharat, uh, what do you think led to the dissolution of the Israeli left? Did it die to an extent with the death of the two-state solution? I think what's, uh, the situation here in Israel is very difficult for uh, the left. There is no left in Israel. So I also, uh, again, uh, again, I said... Well, a consensus uh, so, here in the panel, no left. <laughs> no, no, uh, nothing is left. left, left uh, nothing, uh, nothing is left. <laughs> must okay so called left or i don't know no no it was a joke I, I think, mr bishad please continue yeah. yeah yeah but first of all i want to say to, to speak about ram this is that they uh, join it to the government i think it's unhuman to ask the people arab people to be against their uh, people this mm. is to be not themselves how you can uh, wait from uh, mansour abbas or the others uh, to vote uh, with this this uh, law that this discrimination uh, against the Palestinian people and discrimination butter for the uh, uh, Israeli. I think it's unhuman, and I think uh, uh, you want to change the DNA of the Arabs. Uh, the, the, and, uh, the, the, the tragedy now that the uh, left uh, parties are also demand this, uh, this uh, request from the Arabs. So I, I have problem with this, uh, this world left. So I think all of them and the uh, uh, that there's 74 uh, conservative. Yeah. I think it's one uh, ten uh, seats in the Knesset are conservative are uh, in the same block. Uh, you know, uh, for this uh, uh, law, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I call it uh, uh, apartheid law. 110 Jews is in the Knesset are supported. Yeah. What do you want more than this? Uh, I, uh, well, uh, very extreme nationalist people here in Israel, and it's uh, yeah. very sad. For well, us. well, as counterintuitive as it may sound, perhaps uh, one of the uh, um, ramifications of the failure, quote unquote, of uh, the leftist uh, parties would be more votes going to Arab parties in the next round of elections. But we will dive in uh, further into the situation of Arab parties uh, getting hands on in the Israeli political game in a second. But Dr. Goldberg, uh, you know, there's this internal discourse among uh, dubs here in Israel saying, you know what? Beggars can be choosers. So yes, maybe we need to compromise some of our values in order to be in the rule. But what is of paramount importance is to be in the rule. What do you think? I think that the left is investing most of its efforts in staying in power, quote unquote. And I think effectively uh, it is in power only to see the policies that it is supposed to to support uh, wither away and die. And therefore, I think that even if the left manages to secure what it counts as a victory, it's a Pyrrhic victory. But I'd like to respond to what Mr. Bismut said about this being the Jewish state. The only civil future the state of Israel has lies with the Israeli-Palestinian politicians in the Knesset right now. If the Jewish left has shown anything, it's that it is enthralled to uh, the defense establishment's agenda just as much as the right-wing parties are. Only a political party that manages to create real cooperation between Palestinians and Jews in Israel presents any sort of hope for a civil leftist future for this country.
Yes, and again, uh, uh, in the second part of our debate, we will... If I can only, if I can only respond, please, I think please. exactly the opposite, exactly the opposite. You know, let's take an example. During Ben Gurion time, by the way, Arabs, Jews, uh, in the city of Akko, for example, I mean, they demonstrated for the state of Israel, for the Jews, few 70 years after, a bit, a bit some more, some less, During I mean, what the events we've seen, with, the events we've seen in the month of May, we've seen exactly the contrary. Meaning what? What am I trying to say? I mean, on the contrary, when you say that the future, one second, one second, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Try, Dr. Godwick, try to, try to be polite. Try to be polite, try to be polite. What I'm saying, trying to say is on the contrary, by being a Jewish state, and you allow the Jews, by the way, to have the autodetermination, this is the Jewish state. And if you're very, I mean, how would I say, you're very, on the contrary, very straightforward about it, and you don't start thinking like the left is doing about maybe the state of all its citizens, then maybe situation would be different. And another thing I would say, we have now like an appeasing government ever since a year. We have the brotherhood, the Islamic brotherhood inside the government. Left and right wing parties are together. Yet, when you see demonstrations in universities, I mean, you see Arab Israelis, your, your fellow Palestinians or uh, Israeli Palestinians, going demonstrating with Palestinian flags, not even a space for one little Israeli flag. So I'm very sorry. This is the Jewish state. And if anyone forgets it, we'll, we are here to remind them. Really? Wow. Yes. Veiled threats. Yes. That's I, always I with regard to your citizens. Yeah, you can, Especially by the way, you, you know there are polls, right? there are polls, there is a Knesset. You represent 0.01%. You represent nothing, you, I mean, in Israel right now. You represent you nothing right now. No, seriously, how will you remind no, them but, that this but, is... But, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you, you know that in the streets of Israel you represent almost nothing, but you can continue if really? it pleases you. And you're a yes. representative of the majority. No, I mean, well, there are polls, you know, there are polls. Uh, there are different chunks polls. of uh, society. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. You made a threat okay. against Israeli citizens. You may continue. Yeah. Yeah. How okay. will you remind them? This is, I try to remind you again, this is the Jewish state. This and I remind you also okay. something that might shock you. you. Something that might shock you. Let me continue. The left, by the way, only to show you Mr. How Mr. Dr. Dr. Goldberg, Dr. Goldberg, Dr. Goldberg, let me finish. Dr. Goldberg, let me finish. Let me finish. Dr. Goldberg, right, right. from the you, you want to know what happened to the left? A left, a, a, a politician of the left. His name was a professor, by the way, like you. He was an academic, Professor Benzion Dinon. Professor Benzion Dinon. He was the Ministry of of, no, of Education, really. of of Education yeah. of Ben Gurion. What did he say? He told my friends, the Arabs. I mean, you have all the rights, civil rights, over this country. You have no national rights. Rights on this country. Now, what has happened First, now? Does a does a left wing uh, does a lefty will speak this way? So the left, Dr. Goldberg, the left has changed. Please comment. The left yeah, has please allow Dr. Goldberg to comment. Please. I asked you a very direct question. You still haven't given me an answer. You just made a threat. I cannot hear. Israeli citizens. You said if yeah. they forget, we will remind them. Yeah. No, well, well, no threat. Well, we ran Stop. out of no, 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 time wait, for wait, this wait, segment. Wait. We will take, I'll take a deep it's breath a and be back I mean, after it, the break, well, gentlemen. Wait, it's a democracy. We're back after no, no, the break. Wait, wait, we continue wait, wait, our debate. It's not a threat. Hopefully we'll it's be a able democracy to and we vote. Once we're back. Taking a break, back in a bit. Welcome back to the summit. Still with us, uh, Mr. Ode Bisharat, uh, Boaz Bismuth, and Dr. Ori Goldberg. Thank you, gentlemen, very much uh, for staying uh, with us. And we're obviously staying with the Israeli political quagmire, but shifting focus now to what uh, seemed to be, uh, until not so long ago, a far-fetched notion, an Islamic Arab party, the Ram party, not just a member of the coalition, that includes right-wing parties, but also a stabilizing factor Within it, let's take a listen uh, to Mansour Abbas, leader of the uh, Ram Party, uh, in his latest remarks on the current state of affairs. All the people who look at it in black and white are not right. The process itself was successful because we were able to connect together, pass a budget, form a coalition. 50% of the Arab population supports my approach. It gave them back the hope that despite the disagreements, it is possible to live together. It is possible to connect with people whose opinions are far apart. And uh, as always, when uh, the uh, coalition uh, trembles, uh, fresh polls are coming out. Obviously, we need to take them all with a grain of salt. But let's take a look at the most uh, recent uh, Channel uh, 13 uh, poll indicating Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party coming on top still with uh, 36 uh, seats. And uh, the Ram party led by Maestro Abbas not even passing the electoral <laughs> threshold. And if we dive in further into the, uh, into the result, it means that the jigsaw puzzle of forming a coalition in Israel 
still remains very, very tangled. So, gentlemen, I know we uh, left the conversation at a heated spot. We will continue it in a second, but let's start with another round of 30 seconds each. Simply put, the Rom uh, uh, escapade of joining the Israeli coalition, a failure or a success? Mr. Bisharat. I think that uh, Ram is uh, a very uh, tragic uh, situation uh, because uh, 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 when uh, Mansour Abbas uh, uh, joined the uh, government, he said, I will also deal, only deal with the uh, inhabitant uh, 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 problems. Right. And uh, after that, he uh, now is forced to be uh, in the center of the uh, uh, political problems uh, to, uh, to ensure uh, and to, uh, uh, to support uh, the, what I said, uh, uh, national law and to support the right. Uh, right. Uh, apartheid uh, law and the government. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Bishar, we will put a stop right here and continue in a split uh, second. Uh, Boaz, your take? Unfortunately, I think it, I, unfortunately. No, no, please. I am in minority here. I am Arabic and two uh, good uh, friends here, uh, Jewish. But you didn't give me the. Uh, no, no, the fully, time. fully, Mr. Bisharati will get all the time. It's just a 30 second round, and I promise you, you will get as much time as you want to. Uh, this is from uh, Israel Hayom, spoke uh, two minutes. Oh. Why you give me this privilege? No, just you because know. of the structure of the debate, we start with 30 seconds and we. But please, you know what? I will not uh, fight you on that. Continue, Mr. Bisharat. Yeah, I will not speak. Thank you. No, I, no, I, please, I please. You, we, we, we really. Uh... No, no, I will wait. I will wait. I'm okay. polite. I am polite. No, you're terrific, and we're I very am, happy can, to have you on today's debate. It's just a structural I issue. Dr. Goldberg, please, uh, 30 seconds, and be short if you can, so we can continue. Okay, I think uh, Ram's uh, role in coalition government is both a success and a failure. I think it's a success for this government because it shows that you can actually have a consensus among Palestinians and Jews. I think this government represents that. I think it's a failure because it's an attempt to duck the Palestinian issue and the destructive policies of this government under uh, the shadow of the Netanyahu government. In that sense, I think uh, Mansour Abbas contributes to this government's ultimate failure. Yeah, Mr. Bismuth, please, uh, your time is on. Yeah, I think unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, it's a failure because I would have loved it to succeed. And why? Because, I mean, Arab Israelis are Israelis. I mean, they are part of us. Yet, you have seen the limits. I mean, you have seen the limits of this uh, uh, participation or this. I mean, uh, you, you saw it, I mean, in this coalition that you couldn't stand. And what is the problem for me? I mean, basically, basically, I think that the problem is, I mean, uh, uh, Arab parties, I mean, should should participate also in coalition, of course, and why not? But, but should they determine, should the uh, Shura Council, I mean, the Council of the uh, yeah. religious uh, Muslims, should be the ones who determine? No. And so this is why I think it's a failure. Yes. We have seen the limits. Yes. Uh, Mr. Bisharat, please, and just let me uh, underline, uh, uh, the floor is yours. It was not disrespect. It was just a matter of the structure of the debate. Please, the floor is yours. Uh, what do you think of the uh, Ram decision to join the coalition? Where does it take us? Mr. Bismarck. He spoke about the Israeli Jewish country, yeah? Jewish country. Mm -hmm. Jewish state. state. Jewish state, it, it is, uh, by the way. When, when the United States uh, 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 decided to have two, two, uh, uh, two states, a Jewish state and uh, 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 Palestinian state, or Arab state. Uh, the Arab said no. It, 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 uh, it says, the United States, it's, uh, they said, they said also that after the establishment, the establishment of the Israel state, it must behave as a ordinary state, as normal state, not to discriminate against any Arab or another Jewish. What we see, we see now that there are two two people, two states. One is said for the Jewish, and one is said for the Arabs. And I think this is the strategy. Now about the flags, I think the Palestinian flags is a Palestinian. Is a flag for people. Why Jewish and United States can hold this, uh, the Israeli flags uh, and the proud, and uh, nobody say uh, 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 against them, uh, uh, against them anything. Uh, this means when people like us feel that they are in the second level, they are, uh, uh, they have the right also to show and uh, the, the, that they, they are the national, his nationality 
Uh, and to be proud in this ancientity by uh, holding this flag. But M I Mr. Bisharat, what uh, Mas Nsobas has been trying to do is to say, well, there can be Arab participation in the political game without uh, uh, focusing solely on the political cause, meaning budget uh, allocated to the Arab society, civil related issues. Is it feasible? Is it successful? Can it continue? Uh, why, why you put uh, uh, budgets, more national? Uh, hmm. We, we, we uh, want the budgets and we must ignore our nationality? What's, no, I'm asking, think, I'm asking. Mm -hmm. No, 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 th th this is what uh, Mr. Abbas wants. I think it's very, very bad uh, attitude. Mm -hmm. You want, we want to be sh the real uh, equality, the real share in Israel is every side must be proud with his nationality, yeah. with his traditions, with his songs, with his, all these things. But uh, uh, from one side, uh, you have a, a, a top of nationality in the uh, uh, Jewish side, and from the Arab side, they must be silenced to be the uh, to sh to, uh, to hide uh, this uh, uh, their uh, uh, their nationality and their desire for uh, uh, Palestinian one state and, yes. and solidarity with their uh, people in the West, uh, in the West yes. Bank. Mr. Bismuth, uh, if you're looking yes. at the overall political landscape, is there a way to form a coalition without Arab participation? Or you, or you know what, let me ask that the other way around. Maybe the participation of Arab parties in the political uh, uh, puzzle enables new, more creative solutions. Okay. Look, things have to be clear. First of all, I mean, before on the first part of the program, as uh, something, I mean, when I said we shall remind them, you have seen the poll right now. And when I meant, I meant by voting, because the majority of this country is conservative. And even the traditional left in Israel, I mean, the traditional left, are for the Jewish state. Now, I heard my friend speaking right now about the flag. He said that this is totally normal. I mean, like I have my Jewish, my Israeli flag, my friend, the Arab Israeli, can come with the, with the, with the Palestinian flag. So, I mean, this is crazy. We shall have a three state solution. We shall have Palestine and Israel with two flags. I mean, this is totally absurd. This is totally ridiculous. This shows you how much the left is going so far, being really, really ridiculous. Yet, yet, the Arabs are very important. The Arabs are my fellow citizens. I mean, they've got 100% civil rights in this country. And by the way, let me remind me also, not only they have rights, unfortunately, they forgot that, that they have obligations. I mean, but the obligations, nobody talks about them. They don't have to go to the army because we can understand them. If an Israeli, for example, goes and put money in the bank, so immediately they will ask him, a Jew, they will ask him, where this money comes from, when a Muslim will do so, not always they will ask. I mean, we know all those mm. little technical things. So with all due respect, let's be serious. Yet, what has happened this year in this appeasing government that we have, we have seen the religious issue coming more and more. We have seen this Al-Aqsa lie going even stronger and stronger. And again, occupation again and again. And let me remind you, my friend, that in 1948, a few years after the Holocaust, when we heard of partition and we did not have even Haifa and Beersheba, not even Jerusalem, we went to the street to dance while you six armies and Arab Israelis try to uh, yeah. kick us to the sea. So please, not rewrite well, history in real time.